Hey guys, this is Marie, and I'm back with another video. And this video is going to be buying Hermocribes with painted shells. So let's get started. So in this video, I will be showing you and talking to you a little bit about Hermocribes with painted shells and what you should do when you buy one. So here we go. So as you guys know, about a month ago, I had went to my local pet co and I was looking for um, a couple Ecuadorian hermit crabs and I was looking into the one tank that has the natural hermit crabs in the shell but unfortunately they did not have any Ecuadorians they only had the purple pinchers so I happened to look at the next tank over that usually have ones with painted shells and I happened to look in there and they actually had all Ecuadorian hermit crabs in painted shells and they were so cute and adorable and I'm so sad about them being in a painted shell because they are the cutest little hermit crabs ever and I felt so bad because all of them were in painted shells but unfortunately you know I can't buy every single one and help them so I decided to pick out one that was very sweet and was able for me to hold him for the very first time in my hand ever and I was so excited because that never happened to me before with a, any kind of hermit crab so that hermit crab is named Mickey and this is Mickey and Mickey is actually in a painted shell and he is a Ecuadorian hermit crab and he's been doing very well I had him for about a month and seven days now and he's doing pretty good um, he actually has been down molting um, for a very long time. Um, I picked him up on December 31st and that afternoon and he actually went down to molt that night. So he was down for one month and actually seven days since I had him. So he was down for a very long time but he did excellent and he did a great job molting and he is so cute and adorable now. He was cute and adorable before but he's so cute and adorable and I'm so glad that he had a great molt and nothing happened to him and he did a very good job so I'm very excited for him and that's what he looks like um, his color has changed a little bit it looks like it came a little darker this time he was a little lighter if you don't follow me on Instagram go check me out I did have a little video of him the day I got him and you'll see him there um, what he looked like before he molted and this is what he looks like now when, since he molted with me but he did a great job molting and I'm so glad for him. Now I just hope down the road he will find a natural shell to go into so I can get rid of this terrible painted shell. Now most painted shells when you buy a hermit crab in, they are very bad. They're already usually chipping or falling, the paint is falling off and everything. But his shell is not too bad. It's a little bit... Worser, I think on the bottom of his shell like there's a little bit of paint right there chipped off But I think the bottom of his shell is a little bit Worse not that too bad But hopefully down the road he will change I do have a lot of natural shells in there for him Now I'm just going to talk about when you buy a hermit crab with a painted shell When you go to your local pet store Usually Petco is the one that usually has the hermit crabs in the painted shells and then they also have the hermit crabs in the natural shells. So you have a choice of either one you want. Now most of the time uh, stores usually carry hermit crabs with painted shells because most of the time it's usually younger uh, children that are buying hermit crabs and they think that they can get a better um, sell out of them and sell them faster with the painted shell in them. So that's why I usually I think they usually sell hermit crabs with painted shells and also natural shells. But if you do find a hermit crab with a painted shell and you do bring him home or her home, make sure that your tank is proper set it up for the hermit crab and also make sure you have plenty and plenty of natural shells for him or her to go into when he is ready or she is ready to change into. Now once he or she is ready to change out of that painted shell and goes into a natural beautiful shell, make sure you give the hermit crab a couple of days to um, stay in that natural shell because sometimes they are very attached to their old shell and they could change out of the natural shell and go back into their painted shell. So try to keep 
the painted shell in there for no more than probably three or four days and if he he or she goes um, out of the painted shell and stays in the natural shell for a very long time then you can go ahead and remove the painted shell and you won't have to worry about it you can just throw it in the trash and get rid of it but I would give it at least a couple of days for the hermit crab to get used to the natural shell because sometimes like I said they do get attached to their painted shell and they will go right back into the painted shell because they feel more comfortable in it and because they've just been in there very long when you do buy a hermit crab with a painted shell at any pet stores most of the time they don't have other shells in there for them to change so fortunately they have to be stuck into these terrible painted shells so when you bring your hermit crab home make sure you have plenty of shells for him or her to change into and just give them at least three to four days to get used to that natural shell just in case they want to change back into the painted shell I'm not saying keep the painted shell in there forever just keep it keep it in there for a couple of days just for the hermit crab to be comfortable with the new shell and if you don't see him change back into the old one then you can go ahead and take it out and throw it in the trash now the reason why painted shells are very bad for your hermit crab because once one thing is because they are painted shells and they are toxic and your hermit crab can actually um, chip off the paint and actually eat it and your hermit crab can get very sick and actually pass away so it's really understandable to make sure that if you do buy a hermit crab and try to save a hermit crab with a painted shell make sure you have plenty of natural shells for him or her to go into now this is my probably my second time since I had a hermit crab with a painted shell and the very first time I had bought a hermit crab with a painted shell it was a purple pincher hermit crab and he I can't remember his name but he was a little boy and he did stay in the painted shell for a very long time he never really changed into um, a natural shell but he did go down and molt and he didn't have a very good molt and he ended up dying so he never had the chance to get out of that painted shell and have a little better life with a natural shell so if you do get the chance to get a hermit crab with a painted shell I more likely like the hermit crabs with natural shells but if you can find a hermit crab and try to save at least one out of all of them with the painted shell to give them a better life into a natural shell then I would go ahead and choose a hermit crab with the painted shell just make sure you had the proper setup for the hermit crab and plenty of natural shells for him or her to go into so we can get rid of the old painted shell because you don't want your hermit crab to stay in the painted shell very long because eventually it will chip off too much to the point maybe the hermit crab might eat it and actually pass away before he or she has the chance to get out of it alright guys so this is my end of my video I hope you guys enjoyed it please give this video a big thumbs up comment down below and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more until next time I will see you guys in the next video Bye!